Alright, Josh here, and welcome to another episode of our Ultra Series Testing. Now, in the last episode, we started trying out this Groudon Xerneas team, and we did pretty well with it. Um, it felt really good as well. I really liked Swords Dance Groudon. I wasn't really expecting to press Swords Dance that much. I'm usually more of like a offensive, just get damage off kind of person, player. Um, but Swords Dance was great, especially with Heal Pulse on Finny. That, that's such a good pairing. I really liked it. Team feels like it has a lot of good synergy. Um, so yeah, we're just going to jump into some games again. I do apologise if my eyes look a bit weary. I've literally just woken up, made myself a coffee, which is annoyingly too hot to drink, and just started recording, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so we've got Ray Ogre. Yeah, this is this is where this team, I guess, potentially struggles. Um, Syracuse is a bit of a pain as well, actually. Like, I'm really going to have to rely on Xerneas here, um, big time. So I should probably bring all my kind of support for that. Like, do I want Groudon? Like, Groudon... Groudon is actually not good here, is it? Really, like... Finny's not bad, actually. I think I might just play, like, full-on Protect the Deer. Like, more than I've ever played Protect the Deer before. Uh, Silence is the one I'm not sure if I want or not. Do I want a Moongus? Like, not really, but the redirection would be nice. Can't spore, though. But the redirection's nice. I'm definitely bringing Finny. So, I don't know. Redirection or double intimidate? Rayquaza and Land. I mean, Lando's probably Z. Probably Berry Suicune. Berry Xerneas. Um, Berry Incineroar. What do you reckon? Double Intimidate or Moongus? Yeah, we're going Double Intimidate. Can't decide. Okay, Kyogre, Coco. Is it normal normal Kyogre? <laughs> oh no, it's not. Oh damn. <laughs> I love it when I see that. Okay, so... Mm. What do I want to do? Take a lot of water damage or potentially get taunted? I think I kind of uh, annoyingly have to fake out the Coco because A, it could have taunt. No, and B, it could have taunt. I'm going to lose Incineroar, then I get a free switch into Ment, so I can double edge Dazzling Gleam. Okay, let's do that. That's my new plan. I, kind of, I felt like I had to do that. I'm going to take so much damage, but I will get Geomancy up first, though. That's the thing. Coco could have Z moved me and KO'd my Xerneas. Coco, that does so much. Coco could have um, taunted Xerneas, so it felt a bit better just to get the Geomancy up. Okay. Now we're going to Dazzle and just double edge the Kyogre. That should get it. I mean, if Water Spout did 46, then Origin Pulse is going to be doing like oh, 40, 39, 38, something like that, I guess. Low 40, high 30s. So it can live another attack. But I will get damage onto it first, so it's no point in it. It shouldn't water spout again. We should get the Coco, unless it's AV. Mm, Lando could be AV. Incineroar could be AV as well. AV Lando is something I really want to try. I think that might be quite good. Okay, Suicune comes in. I don't really mind that, actually. I reckon I could get it with a Moonblast after this damage. Oh, but I can get it with a Dazzling Gleam. That's insane. Oh, this is great. This is a great turn. Um... Even if you bring in Incineroar, fake out Xerneas, I can just double edge the Suicune. Oh, it's Rayquaza actually. Huh. Interessante. Oh, I have wasted my. Um, I have wasted my thingy, haven't I? Intimidate. I'm just going to Hyper Voice Dazzling Gleam. I don't see why not. The worst thing Rayquaza can do is Extreme Speed, but Salmon's out speed, so I should get both here. Oh, just protects. Okay, I think we win this one then. Yeah, the only thing Rayquaza can do is um, Dazzle. Um, extreme Speed. Okay, Coco comes back in. That's fine. I think we got this. Unless it's AV Coco. Nope, it's not AV Coco. And it's Slash Rayquaza. Okay, nice. Yeah, that was definitely a game of Protect the Deer. That's exactly what we needed to do. And just, even though, like, sacking off Incineroar seemed like a bit... Oh dear. Like, faking out Coco was definitely the right play. The right call. 
Yeah. Okay. That went well. I felt good. I've I've been. Oh god, it's still too hot. That brew. I've been um. Well, obviously I've been obviously trying to get ready for um. When Moon Su- um Ultra Moon Series Ultra Series kicks off on Ballsport, so I've been, I've been like team building loads, but I can't quite seem to find like the team <laughs> like I want to use. It's really it's really I find it really hard at the beginning of of formats. Obviously, there's like kind of these pace already with like standardish teams, which are good, but like I don't want to use them. I want to use something a little bit different, but at the same time I can't use. Them. I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Scizor is interesting. Rayogre again, great. Um, that could be Mega Sizzle, by the way, which is quite interesting. I can just redirect stuff with Moongus, although Bullet Punch is pretty scary. And like, yeah, I could lead Incineroar, but if Braviary is a bit scary, Bravi, <laughs> did you know I can rhyme? Uh, again, it feels like Groudon's good but bad. I think actually with Sizzle, this makes this one a little bit dif- more difficult. But Salamence is kind of good. So. Mm, yeah, Salamence is kind of good. Oops, sorry. Do I want to bring Finny? Uh, <clears throat> See, sometimes I wish that Nature's Madness wasn't there and it was Moonblast instead, just so I have an attacking move. Because sometimes you don't want to Icy Wind. I can't think of Moongus or. This is the same as last time. I think Amoongus again is a bit pointless. Groud, I mean, I, could, I guess I could bring Groud on. Could I bring Groud on? If I really focus down the Kyogre, I could bring Groud on. Uh, I actually might bring Groud on this time be- just because of that. Scizor, that's a bit of a pain. I hope they lead Coco. I hope they lead the same thing as that other person did. Okay. Oh, not quite. Hmm. Right, well. Okay, actually, this isn't too bad. We'll fake out the scissor. It is Mega Scissor. Interesting. You're going to Warp Spout. Oh, it's Origin Pulse instead. Okay, that's even better. This doesn't do as much damage. Fantastic. I'm bringing Salamence now. Scissor is a lot weaker. Do you reckon... How much do you reckon Hyper Voice does to Scissor? Maybe I can get it with Hyper Voice plus... Um... Oh, Bullet Punch is going to do a lot, though. He also could switch out. Would you switch out to reset it? Maybe. I'm going to get the Kyogre actually because then Groudon's actually. Oh, you protected your Kyogre. That's bad. Oh, no. That's bad. Oh, no. That's really bad. <laughs> okay, now, now I have to kind of. I have to hyper voice protect. Yep. That's why I did that. Please get it. Please get it. Oh my god, that does nothing. I should have double-edged. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, yeah. Now I just, now I just lose, I think. Um, I could go for the double protect. You could bring in Ray, though. Would you bring in Ray Quaza? No, I think you better... Okay. Well, because it does come in just in a different slot. Go get the double. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Okay, there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. 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 Right. Actually, I, I still. <laughs> there's not really a chance because although they have wasted their mega already, which is nice. Okay, so we dazzle. Hope for an origin plus miss. <laughs> no, I just lose. Oh, break closet protects. That's interesting. Miss. 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 Oh, wait! It's all going in our favour, guys. It's all going in our favour. What's the real game? I think. Oh, he's just going to drag and set me in and die, and then extreme speed. Yeah. Oh, that just got me flipping neck. That was just normal Rayquaza. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was kind of bad, but but we did have a bit of luck going in our favour. Then that was quite funny actually. 
what time we're in actually. I didn't check what time we started recording. Ten minutes in. Um, okay. Oh, this is an interesting one. I mean, that's going to be mega opening, obviously, which does get scrappy. Obviously, that doesn't really matter for our team. Um, Lunala is a pain. Um, what do we want to do? We definitely want Xerneas. Um, Groudon is... Groudon's really good, actually. Groudon's so good. Definitely want Xerneas. Definitely want Groudon. Probably want Incineroar just for fake out. Do you want Amoongus for redirection? Hmm. I might go Xerneas Amoongus, actually. Definitely bringing Groudon. Incineroar or Salamence? Like, Salamence is quite good as well. Hmm, super poor against if my opponent... It's bad, though, if my opponent gets their Xerneas set up. It's just kind of useless and Salamence. It'll just go down. Uh, no, I'll bring Incineroar, I think. Fake out's nice. Hmm, okay. It's a pretty similar... Um, I think we're just going to see a, a, a swapping of spores. I'm just going to dazzle to break the shadow shield. Spewer. Mm, just protects. Okay. You just clear smog or spore? Probably spore. Yeah. Okay, we'll try and get set up though still. You could switch in Coco as well, but mm, that's not the end of the world. That should be into Xerneas. I say I can live that. Okay. Right, now let's try and Geomancy and... Although, are they just going to clear smog me anyway? I'm just going to break the Shadow Shield on Lunala. Okay. Right. Yeah, but... Even though I've just lost Xerneas, like, extremely quickly and kind of badly, it does give me the opportunity to get Groudon in. I'll just fire punch a Moongus and Rage Powder. I kind of want a Sword Stance, but it's a little bit risky in front of an Amoongus, isn't it? I wish I had Eruption. You know, when, when I was just bringing it in, I've been I've been messing around with like special Groudon. When I just came in there, I was like, great, I can just Eruption, but yeah, yeah, that's not the case. Okay, Moongus Bean, that's fine. Yep, doesn't really do that much. Okay. I still did a ton, by the way. Stupid Ockerberry. Okay, Incineroar comes in. Moonola protects. That's kind of okay-ish. It's not ideal, but it's not horrific. Sword stance, and do I want to bring Incineroar in? Hmm, yeah, that's not actually a bad option. Get my health back on, on the Moongus as well. Okay, this is going to do like a lot actually. Oh, I woke up. Oh, that's actually amazing. So good. That's going to do nothing. Okay, that was a good turn. Um, I'm going to protect a new turn actually. Yeah. Just don't fly Blitz my Incineroar again. Uh, I don't think they will. Yeah, fantastic. That was a great turn. Right, does this have Wide Guard? That's a weird sound I just made. Um, does he have wide guard? Probably. I'm just going to go for it anyway. Oh, there he goes. Bloody Lunala. <sighs> Shouldn't have gone for it. Well, the thing is, I sh probably should have gone for it. Oh, come on, burn, really? Oh, my goodness, that was bad. That's that's really bad. Because <laughs> does Fire Punch get... Mm, I don't know. Yeah, this game's over. Um, well, maybe not. Although, I can't, I can't take... Okay. Don't mind this. Why did they switch out? I mean, you're just like delaying the inevitable, really, I guess. Okay, is it... Hmm. That's an interesting one.
Right. What my opponent should really do here is double the Groudon. Right? Like, you could Geomancy, but I don't think he's necessary. Like, it's probably better... You've probably just got a Moonblast Moon Guys Beam, so... I'm going to take this opportunity to Snarl. I think that's their best play, right? Moon Guys Beam plus Moonblast. That'll get rid of Groudon. You've already seen that Moon... That they should do, really. Yep. Yeah. And this should be Moonblast. If not, that was a bit surreal. Oh, okay, doesn't gleam instead, yeah. Okay, so I made the right play there. Oh, come on, that was the one I wanted to hit. Oh, that was the important one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was the important one, for goodness sake. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that that was it. That was so bad. Come on, Incineroar, that was, that was bad. Oh, that was so important, like hitting Lunala then. No, this one's over. Oh, what a shame. Oh. Because I would have had more health then to live. Oh, no. That was so bad. I just needed that snarl tit Lunala. I wasn't even that bothered about Xerneas. We resist, fairy. Oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame. Would Moonblast still have knocked out even after the snarl on Moongeist Beam? I don't know. Maybe not. It's resisted and at Neg 1. Um, so that, oh, that was, that's a shame. Okay, oh, I'm so scared of gravity hypnosis. I really don't like gravity hypnosis. Oh, but I've got Finny. Okay, it's not like that last time I played it and I just got decked by it because I didn't have Finny. Okay, I'm actually going to lead Zernis, you know. And, hmm. Who else do I want to lead? Salmon's is... Salmons is pretty good here, really. Um, actually, I do quite like Salmons here. Obviously, I just have to be careful of... Kind of... I don't... I mean, I can't see my opponent bringing Kamoa, but they, they might do. Do I want Incineroar? Yeah, like Intimidate's nice, but... Actually, I think Salmons is better here. Um, I'll come, okay, I'm going to go Salmons Finny. I'm going to bring Amoongus as well. Don't go out on. No, I want Redirection. I've got a plan. Oh, Manectric. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, th I was expecting lay lead, lead, for sure. Um, I guess we just Geomancy and... Just do some damage, I guess, on the Groudon. Yep, Intimidate goes down, that's fine. That's why I hyper voice instead of double-edged. That does a lot to Groudon, actually, I'm quite... Oh, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay. Right. Dazzle should get Manectric and then Hyper Voice should finish it off. There's literally no reason not to do this. Look how much Hyper Voice did to Groudon. Dazzle should get Manectric. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Manectric's pretty frail. I mean, you can have some bulk in it, but it's still... It, I, I was calculating some Manectric stuff. It, it is a good mon, but even, even against, like, just against plus two zones, it's just not as good. Yeah, see, it's, it's just still, it's still frail. Okay, who's coming in now? Eveltor. Um, I can pretty much just do the same thing again. I guess you suck a punch settlements, but I should be able to live it. Suck a punch turn. Well, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's that's uh that's both going down here. Oh no, Eveltor does not go down actually. Interesting. How much did Eveltor take from that? Um. Oh, the funny thing is Eveltor can't, can't suck a bunch of me down, so that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that there's not really much my opponent can do now, because I literally can just daz I can just Dazzling Gleam again, and they can't suck a bunch of me. So that was nice. Um, yeah, Salmon Side before, that was, that was doing a lot, actually. I'm, I'm quite surprised. Yeah, my attack is still higher, but seeing as I was intimidated... It kind of made more sense to a hyper voice. Okay, smiggles a bit. Ooh, not listening to smiggles that much. I'll tell you something. I've, I, I have not seen. This is. I really haven't seen Katana a lot. I, I, I don't like. I love Katana. It's, it's probably my. It's not my favorite grass type. Superior is my favorite grass type, but it's, it's one of my favorite grass types to use in VGC for the past. Well, every format. So well, 
not every, every format it's been available basically used it in 17 18 and i've been using it in sun and moon series but now ugh, it feels a bit ropey because it's not threatening Groudon as much as it did in Sun and Moon series, obviously. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Mega Salamence is just, like, just destroys it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, I don't think it's quite as good. Um, this is, like, Mega Gengar or Mega Salamence. Like, like I want to bring it. Like, I want to, like, set up Xerneas, but it feels a little bit ropey, Xerneas. Hmm. I don't want Smeagol spamming Spore, or Lovely Kiss. Um, do I just go Incineroar Xerneas? Hmm, I could do actually, that covers a few things. Um, I def I do want Groudon. What else do I want? I think, like I want Salamence, but <clears throat> I think I'm going to bring Finny instead. Smeagol. Oh no, okay. Um, I don't mind that then. Oh, this is, this is actually quite good. I've got the fake out. I was expecting Smeagol zone. Okay, so I'm just going to Geomancy. I'm just going to fake out the Salamence. Because I don't, even though it's a neg one, I don't want to take a, um, a double edge or hyper voice damage. And then I can probably just Dazzle and Snarl. Um, if my opponent doesn't switch out, I'll just Mega Evolve. Okay. Oh my! Okay, this is this is a great turn then. This is absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> okay, fantastic. Great turn. Uh, should I U-turn? Yeah, I could do actually. If I U-turn. Uh, yeah, I'll U-turn the Zenius. Mm, do I want to U-turn or should I just uh, should I hard switch instead? I'm gonna hard switch. I want to get Finny in so I can heal Pulse Mazernius. Okay, Gengar comes in. Right, well, it's going to take a lot of damage just because it's not mega as well, so that's nice. Okay, Salmon's just protects. That's absolutely fine. Yep, that does a ton. Oh, what? Oh, what? That doesn't make sense. Come on. What? <laughs> that's not the best use for that. Red card Gengar. Oh, come on. <laughs> um... Just sword stunt. A nice win. Out. And still jump. Oh, oh what? Oh, come on. This isn't going particularly well. <sighs> I don't want to miss the Gengar though. I'm a 500. Like, I'm, I'm just going to Moonblast it. He still went for Xerneas. Oh, come on! Seriously? Oh, this is this is going so badly. That that was bad. I can't Fire Punch now. <laughs> that's, that's so bad. Yeah, sadly, I think I'd literally just lose this because of... A few things, yeah. Obviously, obviously, that chaos, but I mean, red card. Red card was extremely surreal. Um, losing fire punch is bad as well. Red card, Gengar. I still can't get over that. Um, oh, I, I, I literally can't do anything. It doesn't matter. Whatever I do, Katana just wins. Oh wow. Wait, how much did Double Edge do to Groudon? Wait, okay. Do I get Fire Punch back next turn? Oh no, he's got Hyper Voice. I forgot he had a Hyper Voice as well. Oh, I've not even got it back, yeah. GG. Although, Red Card Gengar is a. I don't know. That's a bit of a. Maybe a bit of a gimmick, really. Like, I understand it on Amoongus and stuff like that, but Gengar's, like, so frail to hold a. Re yeah, it resists fairy, but not very well. Like, do you see how much Dazzling Gleam did? It did a ton. I mean, if people have usually got Salamence and Gengar, it's usually double Mega or 
Like, uh, Sash Gengar is quite good. But red card, like, I, on a, on Amoongus it's good. On something like Volcarone it's really good as well, red card, I think. Because, you know, that, that really takes fairy attacks well. Like, actually well. Okay, we've got um, Ray Ogre again. Bronze on this time, though. Um... Hmm. Her, her. Like, oh, uh, draw a lead. Yeah, Bronzong, Bronzong's a bit of a pain, Big, especially when it's on this team, <clears throat> because it's really hard. I feel like it's really hard to bring Vraudon against this. Um, maybe I have to bring a Moongus. I'm still gonna go Xerneas instead of all. Definitely bringing a Moongus. Um, who else do I want? Sal mm. Or do I want to bring Groudon? It's just going to skill swap. That'll have skill swap. That's got air lock, obviously. I'll bring Salmons. It's kind of useless, but I'll bring it. <laughs> the double intimidate's nice for against Ray. That's that's literally the only reason I'm bringing it. Okay. Okay, Lando Incineroar. Hmm. Let me think. I can see Ray, like, you could just double attack, but I could see Ray protecting, if anything, so I'm going to fake out Landorus, because it's probably Z. Oh, no, no protects. Oh, he just sword stances instead. Yay. Yay, we like sword stance. Um, I could switch in Salmons and Dazzle. Oh, I could U-turn the Ray Quasar to break the Sash. I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. And worst case scenario... I take an Earthquake. Break the Sash. Get another Intimidate off. Well, if Ray protects, I don't think it will. No. This should be Earthquake. Oh, it's actually the Z instead. Into Incineroar? Mm, that just KOs me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't think that would me, actually. Not a neg one. <coughs> it must must be um, fully invested. Okay, I should be able to get a double knockout here. Rick wasn't at neutral. You can't. Yeah, that, that just chaos Landorus. Okay, didn't even go for extreme speed. I'd have gone for extreme speed there, like th because like, you, you kind of have to. Okay, Kyogre Coco. Okay, we don't mind this. We just dazzling gleam and just double edge. And that should be the game. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it here. Played a couple of surreal teams that I still can't get over that red card Gengar. I guess, like, it's not bad, but there's just better. There's so many better red card users. Like, for, yeah, Amoongus and, and Volcarona are probably two of the best. There's probably some others that I'm forgetting, but those two are always stick in my mind. As soon as every time I see Amoongus, I always panic a bit that it's red card. Oh, and Ditto. Ditto's the other one that always has red card. Comes in, transforms into your Xerneas, and then <laughs> your Xerneas gets flung out. Uh, that's a classic. Um, so, yeah. This team's been, like, it has been solid. Obviously, like, I I do think that the Rayog is a bit scary, but I think the best way to beat that is just to not bring Groudon. Even though it's so good against stuff like Bronzong, Bronzong could be, will, will be a bit of a pain to deal with otherwise, but I suppose you can put it to sleep to try and chip it with Nature's Madness. Um, I suppose you could even run Scald potentially on Finny if you want, but maybe it doesn't make sense on a ground on team, but specifically for this matchup maybe. That'll chip that nicely. Um, but yeah, we did play it a few times, we did beat it a few times, so yeah, it, you, it's, I think it's more like set up your Xerneas, um, bring Intimidates, Get rid of the, or or if you do really need Groudon, like in some of the games, just just get rid of the Kyogre, like just focus down the Kyogre as as much as possible, uh, and then try and yeah, and then try and use Groudon towards the end. But obviously, I mean, like I said, like a plus two dazzling gleam plus a um, double edge from Mega Salmons will get it, which is nice. Uh, Mega Salmons, I don't think I even brought it last time. We brought it a few times today. I'm, I've been pretty impressed with how much uh, damage Hyper Voice does actually. Like I usually see. Like, obviously, because Air Relate's air been, like, nerfed a little bit. Um, well, all the eight 
um, abilities did. Um, maybe I was thinking it might not be as strong anymore, but it, guys, you know, it still puts in some work. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed me using this team. Next time I will swap to a different one. Uh, one of the ones we've looked at on the discussion series. I've not decided which one yet. Um, might try Ray Ogre out for myself, actually, the fun one with Togan Amami. Might, I might give that a shot, because that, that seems really solid, and I've not actually really played with it yet, so I'll see. Anyway, cheers for watching this episode, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all in a bit.